All right, I'm on hole number eight of the Monster Marsh Tournament. And then the weekend round of the Ricky Division, hole number eight is hole number eight, Sunshine Blades. All right, I've actually changed how I'm playing this part three. So I'm going to change it up because I haven't gotten a hole. I've gotten one hole in one all week. It wasn't on this hole. But I'm going to change up how I'm going to play this shot. And I'm actually going to play the rough bump. So I'm going to play one per ring. And I'm going to take off 10% of the wind. I don't care where I'm at in my club. That's the numbers I'm playing. That's the numbers I've worked out. So I'm taking a bunch off the wind. So I'm going to sniper. On now. Okay, hold on a second. I'm not using any side spin here, but what I can do to help myself out a little, so I can cut that wind down a little bit. I can bring a uh, carnival ball. I need the side spin. One per ring, and I'm taking ten percent off the wind. So if the wind's two, I'm going to play it at one point eight. If it's four, I'm going to play it at three point six. I'll take ten percent off. All right, my opponent goes first. They got a cataclysm, so they're going to play from the other side. We're going to change to a guardian and play from the other side. This is what I've been doing all week. Max backspin and about two and a half left hand side spin, and it'll straighten the ball up right towards the cup. Otherwise, it wants to, the further you go to the left, uh, it make, takes a sharp curve to the right and never really wants to point out the cup. It's the deal is there's a little platform up there, and if you don't hit that platform absolutely perfect, the ball doesn't want to go <laughs> go in. One per ring minus 10%. There you go. It's uh, minus basically two, so it's 1.5. That's a ring and a half. Nice and easy. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a serious look at it here. <laughs> right over the edge of the cap. It looked like it was going to run out there. I couldn't get that. When it when you're in a spot like that where the top spin appears and disappears, if you go, hey, it's going to bleed forward, I can go ahead and just let it be on the top side of where it was disappeared. No, it'll disappear. It'll stop short. So you've got to either move it around so that you find a spot where it can roll through and you can get it dialed in, which is what I should have did, or you can be long like that and just hope that you can hit it right dead at the flagpole and get lucky where it'll pop in the hole. Otherwise, you're going to end up far away like this. I think they should use the extra club cards that we get and let us start upgrading our putter. And we should have to buy points for it. And they should be, you know, like the deal is, is that everybody could start off with a base thing of points. But when you go beyond that, so you wouldn't want to make it so that nobody could get like, you know, you could start seeing some benefit from it, but if, as you got towards the top, it costs more to get there. So that would appease the community and that wouldn't be breaking the game. People at the top of the game that have been playing the longest, they're always going to have just a little bit better stuff. It doesn't matter how much you play because they've just been playing for long enough that they're going to have a lot of those extra cards. It'll take you a while to catch up to them just in games played at that level. All right, that was hole number eight.
at the Monster Marsh Tournament in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.